Well, welcome to Ian's Sport Show, where I look at sporting events coming up, previews and reviews, highlights, etc. Now, I thought I would cover the women's road race tonight. This will round out the World Cycling Championships. Um, and their circuit goes from Loch Lomond, with six circuits of the Tough 14 K finale. So there, it's not as long as the men's. In fact, it's only about 154 Ks. However, the, fi the field is almost about the same size as the men's. And, and usually with women's cycling, if, you, if you're unsure to whoever to follow, generally follow the Dutch. The Dutch tend to have the best history of women's cycling. And, in the last few years with legends like Anna van der Breggen, and Annemiek van Vluten and Mariana Vos and of which two out of those three will be riding tonight so anyway I will start off my preview with some of my contenders now the race favourite is Lotte Kopecky from Belgium she rides for the best trade team normally which is SD Works but you know, she showed at the Tour de France Avic Swift, uh, at the Tour de France Femmes Av by Avic Swift that she was able to, you know, even climb a little bit on the Col de Tourmalet on the fine, the second or last stage. She's a good time trialist. Hilly stages don't phase her from her performances she had earlier this year in some of the one day classics like Strada Bianchi and, you know, Ronda Vlanderen. So she is more than a capable rider. She deserves to be favourite. However, much like Matthew van der Poel last week with the Dutch, Lotte Kopecky's Belgium support is not the best. In fact, the Dutch on paper have the best squad as a team by quite a considerable margin in my opinion but L Lotte she's out and out favorite you know the uh, the client the hills shouldn't fact shouldn't bother her too much and the best way to beat her will be if somebody tries say maybe a couple of laps from the finish to just try and distance her and she might have to do chasing especially if say the Dutch or maybe the Italians might have, say, two riders in a bit of a group towards the end, you know, where she's sort of, yeah, forced to chase as an individual. That that might be the best way to try and beat Lotte, Lotte Kopecky is to try and tire her out. Now we'll move on to some of these Dutch women that I've been talking about. We'll go Demi Vollering, who so far is, this year, the best rider in the women's Peloton. She's a very, very good climber. She won the Tour de France, Femmes. She won it by quite a quite a considerable margin in the end. And, you know, for, for me personally, I think she is the one to beat because I think she has a good enough supporting cast. However, the punchiness of some of these climbs may not be to her liking. So her teammate... Mariana Voss may be better suited and Vollering may play a support role for her whether she wanted to or not but I, but I think the Dutch will be mainly riding for Vollering to start off with Mariana Voss is a three time world champion and has been a runner up in the world road race championship about seven or eight times so she is probably the most decorated cyclist of the modern era for women. She has also done a bit of mountain biking and cyclocross over the years. So she's a very, very capable rider. Hills don't, the hilly circuit won't bother her. However, Mariana has not had her best season. She's you know, she's been a bit below Marianne Voss standards, to be honest. So, 
If she's not in the best of form, she'll probably support volleying. If she's in reasonable form, she may create that one-two punch attack for the Dutch, which, yeah, could lead to Kapeki and co. having to close the gap down. Lorena Weber's is a Dutch sprinter. Now, while her climbing and punching, while her climbing ability has improved to get over these smaller, steeper climbs, the repetitive nature of these, you know, shorter, steeper climbs may, may put pay to Lorena Weber's. And if the pace is certainly on, and they'll probably try and get rid of her as well, like anyone that might be in a final group with her, will try and probably get rid of her a couple of circuits from home, because if she's got a flat-out sprint with someone, Lorena Weber's is pretty much the fastest sprinter in the field, so she should potentially get up and win it and say a sprint, whether it be, you know, 10 riders or 30 riders. Now I'm going to go a bit away from the Dutch and Belgian riders here. I'm going to go ca- g- give you another one. Kezia ne- Nieuwia Doma from Poland. Kezia is an ultra consistent rider. However, she hasn't won a, like an individual race in quite a while. However, she showed in the Tour de France. Then she's coming into some form. Climbing quite brilliantly up the Tour Malay for second in the stage. So she she's one to watch, but her, her support team may be lacking a bit, so she may have to be a bit like Lotta Kapeki and do it on her own. Juliette Labousse is from France. Now, she she will be out a contender for possibly a top 10 finish. I cannot really see Juliette on this course podium, podium, podiuming, Sorry about that, but, you know, she she can get over these sort of climbs. They're not really a problem for her. She hasn't got much of a sp- sort of sprint at the end, but, you know, she she is a consistent top 10 finisher at the World Championships. Sylvia Persico of Italy, last year's, probably last year's surprise packet, she was Third in the World Championships last year for Italy. Had a brilliant, brilliant season. However, this year hasn't been Persico's best season. But, you know, she's a rider that sort of suits these, this circuit. So the repetitive nature of the short, sharp climb shouldn't bother her. And she's got a reasonable sprint on her. However... She is missing two or three riders that could have been handy support for her, like Longo Borghini and Gaia Riolini. So we'll, we'll, it'll be interesting to see how the Italians go this year. L- Liana Lippert is a lady from Germany. Now, this course, much like with Persico, this course will suit her. She doesn't mind punchy climbs. The climb up Crow Road won't bother her. You know, she's got a reasonable sprint on her. And if it becomes wet, Liana Lippert's one of the best bike handlers in the peloton. So that will that will even bring her more into contention. She also has a couple of young bright stars and Ricardo Bauenfein and Antonia Niedermeyer who could play very good support roles for her. Plus, they could also both contend for the under-23s rider in the World Championship, which they combine with the women's elite. Not really sure why they don't have a separate race. Surely there's enough women under-23 that you can make a bit of a race, but maybe they're working their way up to that. So, anyway, yeah, Liana Lippert, I, I do rate her chance on this course. And I, in fact, I think she is capable of podium, podium, getting a podium in this, although I don't know if she'll be able to beat the Dutch and the Belgian star of Kapeki. I'm going to throw in a lady from my country, Neem Fisher-Black. 
Now, Neem gets to actually lead her team today, where she normally rides and support in her SD Works team. She She's had a good season, Neem. Some things haven't always gone right for her, but, you know, she she gets to, like I said, lead the Kiwi team tonight. And, you know, she she's got an all right sprint on her, the repetitive nature of the circuit won't bother her. She finished 12th at last year's World Championships in that bunch that contended the finish. So she she I am putting in I am putting her in as a contender. Um maybe a few roughies to watch. I haven't really gone for any Aussies for this, so maybe between one of Brown, Manly or Spratt they could, they could possibly feature. Like not, none, none of the three have really been outstanding, but none of them have been like. Spratt was Spratt and Brown were better at the start of the season, and Grace Brown was runner-up in the individual time trial championship. So it depends on how much strength she has left, but she could try and support Amanda Spratt or. Alex Manley. Manley hasn't seemed to have done as much this season, so who knows what kind of form she's in. For the for the Americans, World Time Trial Champion Chloe Digert, that was her second World Time Trial Championship title. She's now coming back into some form, and so she could be the USA leader. And maybe if you want a real rough one, maybe you could even have a bit of a look at maybe Hungary's Cassia Bl- C- Catablanca Vass was fourth in the World Championships two years ago. Rides for the best tr- trade team in SD Works, but do- but does a lot of more domestics duties. But since there are only two Hungarian riders, she'll need a bit of luck. She'll need to follow a few wheels to get into groups. And now that I've given you a few, I've put my money where my mouth is. I'll give you a top five like I did for the men's last week. I'll give you a lot of Kapiki since she's the favourite. I'll put her in and she's a brilliant all-round rider. I'll, I'll give you Demi Vollering to follow. Leanne Lippert. I will put in Cassie and Yui Adoma. And I, I will also add Marianne Voss. Hopefully, you know, between those selections and some other racing channels, you can pick up some tips. Tonight it's at about 11pm, I believe, New Zealand time on Sky Sport Channel 600 for anyone who's interested in watching it. Uh, till next time, thanks and bye.